Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Dash O Rose here. I am back to talk about more Nintendo stuff. More Nintendo stuff. Um, I I know that Nintendo has you know shut down their that they're, they're um they've already announced they're shutting down their shops a few months ago. But I I figured I have more things to add to this. I, I'm gonna explain why I hate it and why it's stupid and Nintendo to do this. Um, but before I get any further, please subscribe to to more of my videos. Um, I do news related stuff. I do reviews. I do a lot of stuff. So if you guys are interested in stuff. Like that, I'm, that I'm making and subscribe to my channel and support me. I'll really appreciate it. I think I'm on 103 subs still, so thank you for the support. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Also, make sure you're still subscribed because I, I've, I've, I've been wanting to tell you guys that, but I kept forgetting. Um, because then, because you know, I've heard some people have had issues with with YouTube unsubscribing them or something. So make sure you're still subscribed. All right, now let, now let's talk about this. Um. All right. Um. Nintendo Nintendo is a is a pretty big a pretty big you know. It's a pretty big um gaming company. Heck, um, out of the three, I think Nintendo has been around the longest. They've been around since the 1800s, which is crazy. Nintendo used to sell, I think, cards and stuff, and then they got into the gaming stuff and all that. So Nintendo's kind of been around for a long time, honestly. It's been around for a real long time. Now, I know there's other places that are technically still around, like Kmart and Cedars are still around, too, and they've been around since the 1800s, but... But those those stores are businesses that are pretty much history now. They're they're about gone. Uh, I don't know about Kmart because Kmart Kmart's in the in the um, the southern states. It's doing well, I think, in the southern states. But in America, the, the uh, Cedars name and well, well Kmart and, and Cedars name are doing pretty bad in America. So I'm not sure if Cedars is doing good in other co continents either or not. I'm not sure, but but just like Nintendo, they were both around since the beginning, you know. But but yes, um, but yeah, Nintendo has been around for a while, and um, throughout throughout history, they've had some you know ups and downs with with things like 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 um the. The the Super Nintendo the Super Nintendo and 64 did really well while the GameCube did pretty bad and then the Wii did good and then like the, the Wii U did bad and the the Switch does good did good well so Nintendo is, is clearly have, has had some ups and downs with their so their consoles and uh, and, and um and you know like. And ba ba basically, though, they, they've had their ups and downs, you know. Like, like the Wii U, for example, did really bad. It didn't sell very well at all. And and that, now, now, I want to talk about the shops, too, on there. Um, this is what the video is about. Um, it's about it's about Nintendo's eShops and them shutting it down and why it's stupid of them to do this. But um But I, I think the the Nintendo DSI and the Wii were the first set of Nintendo, you know, co consoles to do this. That they they were the first to, to have an eShop and stuff. And I gotta say, the DSi brings back so much memories. So does the Wii, you know. When I was younger, I, I would I would go on those and shop all the time. They were pretty fun. 
I actually tried to keep keep one of the shop the shop card things, but I could not. I, I think I lost it over time, so I don't really have it anymore. But I remember keeping the, the shop point card. I can't remember what made me keep it because it was a long time ago. But yeah, basically though, yeah, they 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 had the shop points and stuff and. After the 3DS came out, I remember it took them forever to, like, make shop point cards for the 3DS alone. I mean, I, I, I was like, I was like, like, how the heck am I supposed to download games on here if they're not releasing shop cards? But appa appa apparently they, they, you know, had credit card funds you could add, just like the uh, DSi. So I was like, okay then. Now, unlike the DSi and Wii shops, they, they switched, they went from points to like, they went from points to like, you know, to, to like, you know, actual money. And, the, and personally, I think the points were better because it was cheaper to buy them. It really was, it was, it was cheaper to buy them. See, the, the thing is with the DSi, the DSi and Wii, Wii shops, they used points instead of, you know, funds. So they used points. And, um, and, and what, 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 what they did was you could add points to your shop and, and, it, and, it, would, and it would slowly, and, and it would slowly increase as time went on. But, but I, I felt like it was cheaper, honestly. It really was. It was cheaper to, like, use shop points. At least what I remember. Um, of course, the, the shop points have been, all, have been gone for a long time, so I don't know. Now, now the thing is, though, is everyone was probably thinking that these shops would probably last forever. And, uh, unfortunately, they did not. Because in 2016, um, um... Um, Nintendo announced that they were going to close the DSi shop. They were going to close it. They were going to close the DSi shop. DSi shop in, uh, in uh, 2017. They were going to discontinue it. Now there was still, there was still a way to access the shop afterwards. But, but that was mainly to, da to download like, the... the, the Toaster transfer thing, which I don't think you can do that anymore either because the freaking shops, both the Wii and the, the Nintendo DSi shops, are down completely, which sucks. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I haven't been on there for a long time, so I don't know if it got fixed or not, but a lot of people were worried about that, so. So, uh, yeah, because you can't really transfer your data off it without going to the shop, so I don't know. Personally, I kind of wish they would have kept the Nintendo DSi shop open, but they wanted to, I guess, increase their sales. Because the, the, Wii, the Wii U did, did horrible. It did horrible in sales. Like, they only sold like 13, 13 million units. That's probably why, why the Nintendo Wii shop survived as long as it did. Because cause it survived long after the DSi closed down. It, it survived a long time. But yeah, it survived a while. It, it survived like, I think like a couple more years after the DSi shop closed. But everyone was thinking that it was probably not that big. Of, I mean, people were, were probably upset about the DSi shop closing because because each console had their own shop theme and looks. And I was upset about it when I heard it was shutting down. I was, I, when I heard the announcement, I was one of the people that was, that was upset that, it, you know, it was shutting down and stuff. But a lot of people did not know that a lot of games from the Wii and the DSi were going to be gone forever. And I did not know that either. Apparently, um, you, you still can't access some of these games now. I hear that. And, and, I, and you, could, you could argue that maybe it's, it's false information or something, because that happens sometimes. I mean, I had fall, I, 
I mean, I, 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 I mean, this could be false information, really, but I kind of like talked about how Disney lost the rights to Scrat and all that, and they ended up not doing it. Like, I don't know. Um, that happens sometimes on YouTube, but the fact that it's coming from multiple different people is saying something. This is not just one person talking. This is like tons of people. But, but, but yeah, I, I don't know, though, but that's the thing, though, that you can't really get a lot of these games anymore. So, a lot of, and a lot of these games, you know, have, have been gone, and that's one of the problems. But there's a lot of reasons why, you know, a lot of these shops shutting down is bad. Because now, now the 3DS and Wii U shops are both closing at the same time. That's right, the same time... And th this, this is, this is actually really bad. This is absolutely ho horrible. It, it, it's bad enough that they closed the DSi and Wii shops, but now they're closing the, the now, they're, now they're closing the, the Wii, I mean the Wii U and the 3DS shops. Now you may be thinking to yourself, well, well why is that a bad, a bad thing that Nintendo is doing this? Because we have the Switch shop. That's the thing, though. The Switch, the Switch shop is, although it's probably got a lot of games on there, so a lot, the freaking Switch shop, I, I think, kind of sucks. Because, like, the 64 games, if you want to play all the freaking 64 games, you're, you're going to have to, like, pay a monthly fee to freaking, to, to, like, play these stupid 64 games. It's so stupid. It really is. It, it's so stupid. You got to do that, and I hear a lot, of, a lot of like, there's like no, there's no like, you know, shops for the Wii and stuff and all that. I mean, maybe Nintendo's next console, you know, might have it. I don't know because the Switch is kind of dying now. It's kind of, it's getting. I think it's getting close to its its end of its life cycle, unless Nintendo decides to go use the Nintendo Switch Pro as a, as a, um, you know. You know, as a um, you know, as the that you know the next um, you know, switch. But that'd be kind of stupid because they did that that with the Wii U and it failed miserably. And unlike the Switch Pro, where it's actually basically the same except for upgrade upgraded graphics, um, the Wii U is actually a completely different console. Yes, it, it was a, a another version of a Wii. But but it had it had its own it had its own menu and it had its own menu and everything. And I mean, come on, like people want to bitch about freaking how the how the name on the Wii U makes no sense. Well, hey, Xbox and PlayStation do the exact same shit. So I'm like, I don't want to hear it. I mean, I really don't. I'm like, I mean, I'm not trying to be like complaining to people, but I'm ser I'm like serious, like. Wait, what's the big idea about about complaining about something like that when Xbox freaking does that? I mean, you got you got Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox One, Xbox Series X. Those titles kind of don't make sense, but 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 they're still good consoles. So I don't know why people would complain about something like that. I don't get it. Um, but yeah, um, but but yeah, they. But yeah, basically though, yeah. So, so yeah, basically, yeah. That the, the, the consoles didn't sell very well. Well, well, the Wii U didn't. The 3DS sold well. It did. It's what it's what kept you know kept you know you know Nintendo. It kept Nintendo you know going. For for the for the the 3DS and the 2DSs, Nintendo probably would have lost a lot more money than that because. Nintendo wouldn't have another, you know, thing to back them up. That's the problem with the, with the Switch. All of the Switch is a handheld. I feel like Nintendo needs he needs another generation of just handhelds because what if what if you know Nintendo's next console, you know, is not very good and all that because we've seen a pattern with that and uh, I, I don't know. That's probably a video for another time. I'm mainly here to talk about the shops though and. 
And, and yes, I gotta say, a lot of people probably don't really seem to care too much. But the thing is, though, here's the thing with the, with the Wii U shops closing. A lot of these games, are they, they play different on the Wii U than they do on the Switch. They do. So, so since they play different on the Wii U and Switch, basically you're losing the experience to play the... To play the um the, the game the games on the Wii U. You're, 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 Cause there are I mean like the DS games for example. Some of those games are are pretty unique to play on a, on the Wii U, but but I don't know though. Um, a lot a lot a lot of games too have not that are on the Wii U have not got ported to the Switch. One one game for examples is 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 um uh, Devil's Third. That 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 game that game you know it is like seven hundred dollars to over seven hundred dollars for the freaking game. It probably has gone up. And I'm like, well, why would I want to why would I want to pay that much for that freaking game? It's insane. That's the thing. The only way you can play it is. Is for the Wii U, so at least that I'm aware of. I mean, it might be on other consoles, but that's the only way I, I've heard you can play it. And if the shop closes, a lot of these games are going to be lost, and it's going to end up like like the GameCube did. The GameCube, you know, since the g games didn't get ported to the shop for some stupid reason, yeah, they never got ported to the to the shop. They, they ended, people ended up skyrocketing and pirating them on the internet trying to make bucks off of them, which is freaking stupid. You got some people selling the thousand year door for $10,000. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not paying, paying $10,000 for that. I, I'm not gonna lie, I could, I, I could, I could actually buy, I could buy like, for $10,000, I could buy like, Oh, oh, like dozens of freaking PlayStation Fives for that much money. I actually probably could buy, buy about about ten of them for that much money, honestly. For for freaking ten thousand dollars, not saying I want ten, ten PlayStations, but you get my picture. That's that's how much it costs to get some of these games sometimes. Now, obviously, you can find a lot of the a lot of the games like the Thousand Year Door and stuff. You know, cheaper around like well, like around hundred a hundred dollars, but still, that's very expensive for a game. But yeah, they have not poured it to this, you know, the Switch. But that's probably what's going to happen with the Wii U too. A lot of the games on there are probably going to be are probably going to be you know gone forever. Are going to be gone forever, and the only way to freaking get them is on the fucking Wii U, which pisses me off. I'm sorry, but it does. It does piss me off that freaking Nintendo is doing this. But the, the, there's a lot of problems. Like I said, that you, like I said, you, you got you got you know the, the 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 concept of losing mini games on there. And then there's another problem too. Nintendo decides to freaking do this. They decide to freaking cl close the shops down during a freaking global global thing going around the world. Now, 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 COVID is kind of slowly dying. Down. It'll probably be back, though. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think it's going to be probably as bad. I think people will probably build up immune systems to COVID, but, but the fact that freaking COVID freaking screwed up so much stuff. There are so many businesses that are freaking struggling because freaking COVID, you know, Cause everything to get shut down. I still think people, people freaking. I still think you know, the United States shutting everything down was stupid. But heck, some 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 states took for an entire year to to um shut down. I think California, it took them an entire year until like mid midway or towards the end of the end of like. Like, um, you know, last year to, like, to finally open everything up. And it hurt a lot of businesses. So, people, people can't, can't, can't be, can't afford all these games. That's the problem. 
I can't afford all these games. I can't. I'm going to try to buy the games I can buy, but there's no way I'm going to be able to buy all of them. There's freaking no way. I don't have the money. Heck, heck, even, even if you, even if you, do, even there, if this wasn't going on, what about the people, the people who didn't grow up with this stuff? Like, like 20 years from now or something, Nintendo, you know, you know, doesn't release some of these games on the shops. And Nintendo clo closes the, you know, closes the shops that me that that means a lot of games are gonna be lost and people new generations of people who, who didn't grow up with the Wii U and 3DS are not gonna be able to get some of these games because freaking Nintendo shut them down. So so even if there was not not stuff going around in the world, it's still crazy. But like I said, it's freaking stupid that Nintendo is freaking doing this. It's fucking stupid of them to do this. This is probably one of the most stupid things they've ever done because a lot of people are freaking pissed at Nintendo for doing this. And Nintendo needs to take some lessons from Sony. Like, look, Sony was gonna clo close down, was gonna close down, you know, the, the PlayStation 3 shops and the Vita, but they ended up keeping them open. I think that I think Sony kind of listened to their fans a little bit. Yeah, Sony Tim. So I think Sony is is starting to kind of listen to their fans though, because like even the the, the movie side of Sony, where they make films and stuff, they're they're kind of listening to their fans more. So like like with Ghostbusters, you know, and all Afterlife and stuff, a lot of people are seeming to notice that that Sony's starting to listen to them more. So a lot of people are probably hoping that Nintendo will do the same thing. Well, Nintendo. I don't know, Nintendo has a track record. Now, I'm not saying they can, you know, I'm not saying they, they, you know, can't, can't, you know, can't, you know, like, you know, it, it, it won't, like, stop the shops from closing, but, but the fact that they already closed the DSi and the Wii shop a while back says something about them, and, um, and that, that, and they have a reason to clo they're like they're like well for cl for closing the the DSi and Wii shop let's close the the 3DS and the Wii U too. And remember the DSi and Wii had a lot of titles that were lost forever. So so yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm fine if they don't carry, you know, shop points and stuff, you know, of, of certain, you know, consoles anymore at the stores. I'm fine with that because, you know, the stores need, need, you know, grocery stores and stuff and gaming stores need to have room for new products. But, but I feel like, like I said, the, they should have kept all these shops open because, like I said, a lot of games are kind of gone and stuff. And, and like I said, so, Sony... Sony decided to keep theirs open, so I'm like, why can't Nintendo do the same? And we're gonna be losing, we're gonna be losing quite quite a bit of history and stuff too with these consoles. A lot of people are gonna miss history and stuff with with these consoles in their shops because Nintendo is shutting them down and stuff. And you could be, you could ar argue that that. Well, it might be hard to run multiple different shops, but like I said, Xbox and PlayStation are, are, are doing the same thing. Well, 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 they're doing different things, I should say. They're, they're actually keeping all their shops open, so I'm like, why doesn't Nintendo do that too and listen to their fans? That would be nice. Because again, with prices skyrocketing and freaking shortages and stuff and people out of a job right now because the freaking pandemic screwed everything up, I, I think Nintendo need, need needs to keep their shops open. They need to keep them open. I, I, I think they need to keep them open, though, and because you know, well, they need to keep their shops open because you know that 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 way you know people have time to like you know buy games off of their. Because let's let's be fair here. Some people have a Wii U. Heck, people have been starting to buy the Wii U. Actually, the Wii U is actually starting to become popular now. 
Everyone was like, what the hell is a Wii U? And then like, and then once the Wii U shops are closed, everyone's freaking out buying the Wii U. So I don't know, I'm just like, I don't know. Again, it didn't do very well, but still, I'm just like, what about the people who have the Wii U? I kind of wish they would keep keep the shops open for people who have it, you know. But but hey, I, I don't I don't know what to say. I really don't know. I don't know what to really say about this, and I'm just not really happy that Nintendo is freaking doing this because with all the stuff going around the world right now, it, it's freaking it's bad. Like, it, I don't know I don't know about other countries, but. Well, 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 Russia, I guess. Russia's going through a lot of crap, too. But the United States is not doing too well right now, either. Because, you know, with shortages going around and stuff, you know, and all that. I, I, I think they should keep the shops open. I think they should. Nintendo needs to, to listen to their fans, keep the shops open and all that. And Now, I'm not saying Nintendo is a horrible company. I think they got great games. Heck, heck, out of play for, between PlayStation and Xbox, um, which I'll have a I'll have a video about Xbox down the road. I will. I'll have a video about Xbox down the road, but but um, for for but between all three of them, I I prefer Nintendo. Nintendo, I grew up with Nintendo. I do. I grew up like with Nintendo, and I I actually you know I love the DSi. The DSi is out of all the handhelds, for, you know, with I don't know, if, I don't think Xbox released any, but Sony released some. I think that the I think the DSi is my favorite. It, even without the shop, it, it's still it's still a really good you know handheld. It's really good. It's got a great camera on it, so it's got a great camera, and and I I use the camera on it in the 3DS be, because because both of because with my phone, I don't have the, the room to take all this stuff. Plus, I need to like edit some of these videos. So, that that that's why like some of these the places I'm recording are gonna take a while to record to, to upload. I will upload them eventually on YouTube. I will, but the reason why I'm gonna have to edit them is because some of them are like because I screwed up on some videos and I had to redo some of them, or or I missed some stuff to record them. Um, I I have to like combine them all together, so so that that that's why you know that's why I'm gonna be doing this. That's why. But like I said, Nintendo they made some pretty stupid choices. They really have. Um, they really have made some stupid choices. They have. But I mean, every company has made some stupid choices. I mean, Nickelodeon's. Freaking making stupid choices with, you know, with, with, you know, like, well, they're making stupid choices with, like, you know, with, like, you know, constantly making Spongebob spin-offs and rebooting everything while, like, Sony, I think, is cen censoring everything and, and I don't know, there, there's a lot of problems, but the, the thing is Nintendo, um, although they made some stupid decisions, they're, I still love them. Now, now if they started to getting worse and got really bad, I probably wouldn't like them anymore. But on uh, Nintendo, Nintendo just makes stupid choices without thinking about it. I feel like I think that's why why a lot of the like why the shops are shutting down and stuff because Nintendo Nintendo is just not thinking right about it. I think they I think they should listen to their fans. They should. Because the thing is, we're gonna lose a lot of a, a lot of game titles. We're gonna lose a lot of them, a lot of game titles, and and, and we're gonna be losing a lot of them. And we and a lot and we can't pay, we can't buy a lot of these because freaking with shortage and stuff going on, it's just a pain in the butt. Plus, the people there's some people that probably are like babies right now or something, and that's. By the time they get are like 10 years old or something, and they want to get these games, they're not going to be able to get them anymore and experience it, them. And I, and I think the Wii, the Wii and DSi still have games that have not been ported to anything else, so I don't know. I don't know. Um, 
I, I, I don't, I don't really know. I don't know what to really say, though, about this. I'm just not very happy Nintendo is freaking doing this. I really am not. Because, like I said, I, 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 lo I love the, the shops on here. I feel like it, it's, it's not the same playing these game, some of these games on the Switch. I know that. So, I, I think they should keep them all, but I really do. Um... Now, I don't think I have much else to say. I think I had something else I wanted to talk about, but I can't remember what it was. Um, I was, I was going to bring up another point with the shops, but I, I don't know what it was. I kind of need to stop the video, though, so. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, though. I hope you guys did. If you did, you know, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe and Comment down below, do you think Nintendo needs to, to change their minds like Sony has? Because I think they should. Because like I said, a lot of people are not going to be able to afford these games on the shops. Because freaking, the stuff going around the world is, is not, there's stuff going around the world. So it's going to be hard for people to be able to buy these games. But I, I, I think they should keep them open, but that's just my opinion. Also... I, I've actually figured out too when I was editing the um the um I forgot to mention this when I I think I forgot to mention it I don't know um I was making the Fairly Odd Parents video and I and I um when I realized that um I figured out how to to make it where I can color in the 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 the, the bottom stuff faster so yeah anywho hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did hit that thumbs up button. And subscribe for more videos. And see you guys uh, later um, for more videos. This is Dash Joe Rose out.